Oops. It says R E C on the left side. Yeah, that means it's recording. <laughs> wow, what the heck? <laughs> Solution here with Gary Keenan and Sean Sacco. Wacko Sacco is behind the camera filming for us. <laughs> and, and we're going to do the Olympia wrap up now. Um, I'm going to handle the dudes. She's going to handle the girls. Yep. Why don't you go ahead and do your picks to see how close you came? Or okay, so first I want to start off. So for fitness, pre judging, top five, I nailed it. Nice. You got the top five people that are pretty consistent throughout the year and throughout the years. I did, and I was a little off on the placing for the final, but top five for the pre -judging. So with that, I will start with it. So um, we watched the pre-judging um, webcast on bodybuilding.com, which was really cool. It was almost like being there. And then we had issues watching the final. Actually, a lot of people did. Like half the East Coast is yeah. out. Like yeah, it was the bodybuilding.com server error or something like that. So anyway, we followed it online with forums and Twitter, so thank you for all of my online friends who get rocked. Um, we finally got to feed like the last 20 minutes. So at least we got to see um, figure, men's tool two, and um, the material lift. Yeah. So anyway, with that, I will start with fitness. Um, top five, Adele won it again. Um, she is like reigning. She's pretty much unbeatable. I don't yeah. see anybody. Well, I think Tangie could beat her. Angie came in second, Angie Johnson, my girl, good job to Angie, loved the routine, she did a stomp inspired routine, so it really was no music, huh. which was really interesting, it was very cool. Um, third was Trish Warren, I had her pick through third, she did a great job, um, she had a really high energetic routine, it was based on what she was possible. And also, Trish was dieting at the same time as her husband was dieting for the Mr. Olympia, mm -hmm. so both of them in the same household were dieting, and she was yeah. in the top three, so. Yeah, she looked awesome. Hard to do. Yeah. Fourth was Miriam Capes. Um, she did a, a, a what was it? Chicago inspired routine with Tim Tuck Roxy, except they um, put in the word Yimi, which was really cute. She had her nose uh, It was a great routine. Loved it. And then fifth was Aksana Grishina. Uh, and she had a beautiful, beautiful routine. I watched these today on the replay because we missed one of that. But it was, um, it was more of like a very athletic ballet style routine. It was awesome. Um, yeah, for fitness. For bikini, I'm going to push that. So for the inaugural Olympic bikini. We were all off of bikini, but... We were. Like, I had Amanda Lacona in first. Amanda Gonzalez took first. She looked great. Now remember, she switched from figure to bikini this year. Did she start with fitness? And no. Then figure, no. She, 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 she started with figure. Yep, she started with figure. I competed against her in 06 the Emerald, and she just kind of took off from there, but now she's bikini. She looks great. Uh, second, Natalia Mello. I had her in second. Brazilian girl, a guy yeah. has her winning. Yeah, so. she looks she looks great. And then third was um, 18 year old Lauren Grani. She looks Holy good. Cow. She looks good, but yeah. she looks part of the reason why she looks good is she's 19. Yeah, 18. 18. She did yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, your body is fairly tight at 18. Uh huh. And she's the one that her mom is pro. Right? Yeah, she and her mom turned pro at Team Universe. Was it? Yeah, it was Team Universe. They yeah. turned pro together. Her mom turned pro at Team Universe. Like. And then um, four. Uh, Jamie Baird, beautiful bikini physique, just beautiful, classy posing all the way around. And then fifth was Amanda Latona. So I had to Yeah, she, we thought that, she'd be higher than that, but yeah, you know, it just depends on, she won some shows this year, but it depends on what you come like on that day. Yeah. If you come in, you know, too soft, too hard, if you're too hard for bikini, they'll mark it down too, so. Yeah, so, so those were the top five. And there was um, other notables, one of my favorites, Jeff, um, Dina. Paxton Putnam got 12, Dina Elsabaugh got 10. Um, which is awesome because she's been out of the circuit for a long time. So, um, yeah, notable. That's bikini. Switch it on to figure. Now this, this was this was kind of epic because. Can I ask a question real quick? Yeah. Why is the numbers going down? <laughs> the numbers are going down because it's counting down for a minute. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little technical difficulty yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> um, Same for fitness. Nicole Wilkins Lee was Miss Figure Olympia last year. This year, uh huh. Aaron Stern out. So this is the first girl contest that Aaron's ever won, I think. I don't know why Nicole lost. Yeah. I really don't. She improved her physique drastically since last She put on some size. Yeah. She, she, she looked like, size like it looked like she was going to pull it out. And in yeah. the end, it was like... It, it could have gone either way, but honestly, I think Aaron's physique was a little more streamlined. And I thought she had a little bit more detail, especially in the back shot. The back detail was like right Which the thing about figure is, you never know whether they want detail or not. So last year, Nicole won with, you know, very little detail and more of a streamlined, smoother physique. She came in harder, and a girl even harder than her beat her, so... That's true, but, you know, you know recently, for the last few...
pro shows and for the last few national shows, they're going for a lot harder looks. Hmm. You know, so than the beginning of the year, honestly. So I, I've noticed a trend like that. So anyway, that was kind of a big uh, upset, I think. But third? you know, third Heather May French. Heather May French. That's yeah. a little, the little tiny girl. Four eleven blonde. Yeah, she looked great as always. Um, fourth was Crystal Richardson. Now she brought a really nice package. She looked really good. And then fifth was Alicia Romero. And she consistently played the top ten, so yeah, she looks great. Um, yep, that's notable zone for you. Switching to Ready to Fitness, Miss Olympia. Olympia. Iris okay. Kyle. Iris Kyle, no one's going to beat her. No. From the back, lights out. But Yifani, who got second, yeah. came very close to beating her, and she could beat her. Next year, if Iris doesn't improve drastically, I can see Yifani beating her. She just has a overall flow to her physique symmetry and it's very hard. If she puts on a little bit of size or whatever she has to do, what she can do. Yeah, because she may have had a decent front and side, honestly. Yeah. Like I actually had her winning until I, I just turned around to the back and... And then, yeah. Like so, um, third was Debbie. Debbie Lizowski. Lizowski. Yep, the She's blonde. Yep, Debbie Lizowski with yep. the blue eyes. Fourth, Sheila Black looks really great. And then, um, Diana Chadell took fifth. So I had her in third. Very strong lineup in all regards. So I'll turn it over to you for the men's. All right, first we got the men's 202 showdown, which um, I was actually disappointed because I thought our guy Stan McQuay was going to be the sleeper, and he looked really good at the weigh ins yeah. and something in between. You know, he flattened out a little bit and smoothed out. So Stan didn't really want to place it very high. But, uh, one. So hang on, we're going to go three. <laughs> we're going to go backwards. We're go number three, Edward Eduardo Correa. Now, I first saw Eduardo at the Pittsburgh. He was like an unknown. He was doing the 202. We thought he was a freaking super heavyweight in the amateurs. And he freaked out. And I freaked out. And, oh, my God. Big, Kev, big ass Kevin is going to get crushed by this guy. <laughs> and as it turns out, when he said, okay, 202 is stripped down, he stripped down next to George Farrow and Mark Dumbbell. He's like, a pro. Well, he wound up winning that show, the Pittsburgh. Um, I don't know if he did the 202 Olympia last year or not. He came back this year and got third place, and he looked, I mean, he looked and he was the one who had to weigh in three times because yeah, he was a little, he was, he was a little he bit, made it. He like barely he made weight. Second, Dave Henry. Now, poor Dave Henry. He, every like time Henry. he goes to the 202 showdown, which the winner is Kevin English again, he gets beat out by Kevin because Kevin is a natural off-season 270-plus pounds. Which is ridiculous. And he comes down to 202 yeah. in like 14 weeks. And by the time he's done eating and refeeding, he's back to 220 by the time he walks on stage yeah. in a couple oh, of days. Okay. So, you know, and Dave just can't, he doesn't have to suck down that much. He can't put that much weight back on that fast. And he gets beat up. So, I mean, that's, you know, Kevin English was the winner again. So, for two or twos, Kevin English is still the king. Now, as far as the men, we're going to do top three in the men. Number three, Branch Warren. Branch. No, he flipped the spot. He was second last year. He did, but he only flipped the spot. We'll talk about why. Yeah. Branch yeah. came in harder. His upper body was bigger. He looked, he flowed better symmetry. You can't go much harder than Brent Warren. He looks like rocky this year, too. Because the bigger his upper body gets, yeah. his lower body's already really big. Yep. Second place, Phil Heath. This is the reason why Brent slipped down his spot. Phil Still came in, head. he closed the gap size-wise with Jay, coming in 15 pounds heavier again mm -hmm. with razor-sharp conditioning. And, I mean, it was going back and forth between him and Jay Cutler, who won the Olympia again for the fourth Yay, time. Jay back and forth all night for, you know, Friday and Saturday night, and nobody really knew who was going to win until it was Jay and Phil standing there at the end, and Jay was announced as the winner. We were still comparing them. They were standing there, yeah. you know, with their arms around each other, waiting for the announcement. We're still like, we're I still don't know, like, I don't know, and they went back and forth, but Jay was bigger. Jay was harder in the leg area, harder from the glute area, harder in the hamstrings. He was just overall too much for Phil to handle, but next year I could see Phil, if he improves again, taking the Olympia. It's going to be him and Branch next year if Jay retires. Maybe Jay will come back. We don't really know. But the uh, the good thing that we're running out of time. Okay, we're running out of time. So I picked Jay Cutler to win. I picked uh, Dan McQuay to win. So I kind of feel a little yeah. bit. I think it's so for M3World.com, the solution, Carrie and Sean Stackham, we're out. We're out.